Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Dave Free, and for today's video, we're going to be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, I'm starting, as you've seen, I'm starting to become a little bit more Yu-Gi-Oh! centric on the channel. I'll be bringing other things to the channel. You know, I, I've been doing the unboxing and stuff like that. So, if you guys enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! content, please support it so I can keep it coming for you guys. But as for today's video, we're just going to knock out some summons. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, they do have this Tyrant box here. So, the uh, Flame of the Tyrant. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, all right, so come down here. I have not pulled on the banner, so everything's basically remaining for me. And they have Tyrant Dragon, and I like how they number like what's all available in here. That's pretty cool. Let's look at Tyrant Dragon. During the battle phase, if your opponent controls a monster after this card's first attack, this card can make a second attack. You get any trap card effects that target this card, and if you do destroy that trap card, this card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard unless you tribute summon one dragon monster. Very powerful card. You know, he's not really, he's okay, like in real life, but he's not really that great. Um, there are stipulations to him that would limit his usage. And also it comes down to like the deck you draw him on. Nonetheless, in the game, like in the context of this game, the confines of the way that this game works, he's an amazing card. Um, any card with high attack basically in this game is ridiculously good. The only other ultra rare on here is the uh, go ahead, Rigorous Reaver. His effect is each player discards one card. This is a flip effect. If this card is destroyed by battle, the monster that destroyed it loses 500 attack and defense. And he has 1600 attack as a three star. That's, you know, that is what warrants an ultra rare in this game. Having high stats and stuff like that make you really good. Now let's see if there's anything really particularly useful in here. Spirit Ryu is pretty good. A Ryu. Uh, a lot of normal monsters, but bulk purchase settings. Okay. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Punch that subscribe button if you're new. Don't break your phone, though, but uh, also punch that like button. But let's jump into 10 packs for 500. Purchase it. Yeah, of course. Why not? See if I get anything useful. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, this is going to be a dead pack. Warm Bait, Empress Mantis, and Possessed Dark Soul. You contribute this face-up card. Take control of all face-up level 3 or lower monsters your opponent currently controls. That's okay. That's pretty solid. Oh, three Karibos. Will the big one come in? No, it didn't. Oh, this may be a good pack. Maybe a good pack, though. I've got the uh, hieroglyphs in the back. I think it's just going to be a super rare, though. Oh, a R. Okay. No Bam, so I'm still not getting anything particularly good. Another Empress Mantis. Sword of the Soul Eater. Iron Blacksmith Kotitz. He's actually pretty solid. Still with the singular Karibos. No Hieroglyph. Flame Spirit Ignis. Firestorm Prominence and the Thing in the Crater, which is another pretty solid card. Learn Bay! Tornadic Fire Dragon. Try right. Target three level two or lower normal monsters in your graveyard, especially some of them from the graveyard. That's not bad either. Ooh, will the big one come? The fourth one. No, it didn't pop in. But this one's gonna be good. He didn't say bam, but this one's gonna be good. Ooh, Sword Hunter. Super rare. Sergeant Electro. Once per turn, you can target one face down card in your opponent's spell and trap card zone. While this card is face up on the field, its target cannot be activated. Pretty good card there. Ooh, oh, he winked at me. There he goes. There's the big one. This is gonna be a good one too, huh? Should be. Oh, of course not. Of course it's not a good one. Mystical Shine, Cosmic Beam, pretty solid card too. Remember, she used to be like special edition. Burning Spear. That wink was a troll. That was him telling me, ah, you ain't getting nothing. Ah, you thought. <laughs> Firestone Prominence, a thing in the crater again. Not bad. Flame of the Tyrant. Ooh, Inside Princess. I always liked her. Sword of the Soul Eater. The thing in the crater is just literally harassing me at this point. It will not stop popping up. Oh, baby. Flame of the Tyrant pack. Multi Draco. Man, I've never seen that card, but he looks pretty dope. Look, well, cute little dude. Look at that little bandaid on his forehead. Mother just got knocked out. Uh, when this card is normal, something you can add one from your deck tier. Oh. He's a deck thinner. Interesting. Empress Mantis and Flame Ruler. He acts as a tribute. Oh, he's actually pretty solid. If you want to run like a flame based deck. So those are my 10 packs. We're going to jump in with another 10. Uh, we got a bunch of R's. I only had one super rare in there. The Sergeant Electro. All right, let's jump back in with 10 more packs. You even asked me if I'm going to do it. Can you know it? You know it. 
ain't even a thing to a G like me, ma. Alright. Empress Magic again. Twin Headed Fire. Ooh, another Flame Ruler. I don't mind that. I need another one just in case I want to do something with those. No homo though. There's nothing to. Never mind. I take that back because last time I said that, somebody was like, oh, you have, you have something against them. I'm like, man, I didn't mean it like that. It was just a spontaneous comment, but apparently people get offended, so I apologize. Uh, bless Asmodian. Little Chimera. Pinch Hopper. Oh my goodness, oh my good lord. Flame Spirit Ignis, what do you do? You contribute one face-up monster, one fire-type monster to inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each fire monster in the graveyard. That could be pretty solid later. And I already know what Try Right does. I'm not mad about getting those. Those are always nice to have, apparently. I'm low-key not getting anything. I'm just kind of getting pretty unlucky here. To the field of the gear, especially with one power monster. Yeah, so he's pretty solid, like I thought. So there used to be like a, a fire-based structure deck like a long time ago um, when I used to play back in like 08 or whatever. And, uh, you know, I used to have him. He was in there, I believe. Either that or I made a fire deck myself and I threw him in there and he was pretty solid. Another Sword Hunter! Pretty sure it's Joey's card. Possessed Dark Soul. So did I just beat the back. I just best the Vagabond up there. Oh, I thought I turned off the chat. Little Kenmeta. Dedicated. Uh, you can contribute summon a normal mo a dark monster in oh, okay, I get it. He yeah, access to if it's only for a, a normal monster though. It doesn't work for an effect monster. But this game loves that type of stuff. So Ryu Senshi. Warrior Digrepher and Spear Ryu. Oh, I haven't pulled a Warrior Digrepher. I remember this card though, super old card. But I have not pulled one in this game. Flame Ogre cannot be special summoned when this card is normal summon. Draw a card. Okay. You just use a field skill. Easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. That was a 10. I didn't get a single super rare there either. Oh, okay. Let me jump back in with 10 more. And I think this will be our last 10 of the video. So, ooh, you winked. Will it be a good one this time? Come on, baby. Oh, it's going to be crap, huh? Say bam, damn it. Stop just doing that and not saying bam. Each player selects a monster in their game and special summons so you can face down. That's right, I forgot. I used to have that card. Flame of the Titan. Flame of the Titan Team. Oh, Hieroglyphs. It's an R. Yeah. I gotta know what those, uh... Wink? No wink, okay. I gotta know what those uh, summon animations mean. This one's a bam. No bam. He normally says bam when I get that. And the bam is an ultra rare. Warm, 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 worm. Okay. <laughs> if this card is destroyed, send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Damn, that's good. Come on, buddy. Mystical Shine Ball, Blast Asmodian, and Warrior Die Greffer. There he goes. Really overall solid stats there on that guy. Kind of hard to pull, apparently. Another Mystical Shine Ball, Twin Headed, and another, I was going to say, in before another Warrior Die Greffer, right when I say he's hard to pull, and there he is, sure enough. I was literally about to say that. I saw there was three normal cards in there. Something good? Uh, Effect Monsters, okay. Firebird, Dark Effigy, and, ooh, Infernal Flame Emperor. He was actually, I think, the main card in that structure deck. Man, this takes me back. Leave a comment if you guys know the name of that structure deck, if you guys remember, if you guys were playing back then, 08, 07, 07 in that area. Way back. Earn bait to gain that I mean, I've got so many juice in this card. Ridiculous. Sword Hunter, I've had like 15 so far, Little Chimera. Frontier Wiseman. I pull another. Another. Cosmo Queen, okay. I think she came from like a McDonald's pack or something. There's something about her. Nope, that is all of them. Let's go ahead and check out my one SR. Load it! There it is. If this card is destroyed, it's in the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. So let's see after that what all is remaining in here. We're going to knock out just, you know, the 15 pack openings and I'll be back at some other point, maybe on another banner or, or booster box, whatever, um, and see the cards I own versus the cards I don't own. There's not really much I don't own anymore. You know, Dark Blit. Balter, excuse me, the terrible. Yeah, I only, I only don't own 
ultra rares and about five of these other cards in here. So we'll see what we can do. I guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Punch that subscribe button once again if you're new to the channel because I'd appreciate it if you keep the Yu-Gi-Oh content coming. You know, I'm gonna keep doing the unboxings. I'll look into a Duelist Legacy. I have the game. I'm gonna start playing it on the channel too. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in to today's video and have an awesome rain of your day. Yeah. Peace. Peace out too.